Hi, we know many of you across Carolina's family will be celebrating America's independence, and that includes dozens and dozens of cyclists who will be riding for a good cause this morning. 7 News is Tobias Rodriguez live in Chesney with that story. Hey, Tobias. Good morning, Fred. I've been speaking with the riders all morning long, and safety is what's on their mind. They say that's a very important part when they get out on these roads, and it's to raise awareness for these bicyclists. And I'm here with Callie, and she actually lost her husband last year whenever he was on his bike and he was hit. So tell me what happened. So a year ago, June 30th, my husband, who was an avid cyclist, was riding home from Spartanburg Regional, where he was a nurse anesthetist, and he was hit. Um, on Highway 221 in Chesney, uh, and uh, the, the driver was left the scene, so it was a hit and run. Um, Dale survived about 20 hours, and he was pronounced brain dead, and uh, we donated organs, and um, our entire lives changed in the matter of, a, you know, the blink of an eye. And so speaking with these riders this morning, they say that sometimes it seems like drivers treat them like they're bothersome to the roadway, but they don't realize that they're real people just, you know, doing something that they love. How has this impacted your family? Well, I mean, our, our entire life has changed. I mean, we, my husband was um, an avid cyclist, but he was a, a nurse, a husband, a grandfather, um, a father. You know, he was very involved with his, with all of our, our kids and our grandkids. and. You know, life changes, and we've, we've, we've realized over the last year that, you know, people take for granted um, that, you know, bicyclists are human beings and that, you know, you look at the side of the road and you see one, you don't really realize that they are someone who has a family, and they're, sometimes people see them as a nuisance, and, you know, coming to the realization that distracted driving is such an issue today, um, this ride really should be considered an important moment, you know, for this this area of the country because we are behind in some of the laws for distracted driving and, you know, safety for not only bicyclists but pedestrians as well. That's true, and thank you so much for speaking with us. I'm sorry for your loss. And if you would like to come out and be a part of this ride, it's going to start up around 8.30 at Lake Blaylock. It's only $25 to sign up, and all that money is going to go towards pushing towards safety initiatives for bicyclists. Reporting live to Rachel Rodriguez, 7 News. It was so kind of her, and we do appreciate her sharing her story with us and, again, our thoughts with her and her family.